Our level Earth plane has long been ridiculed as being a crazy conspiracy theory and an ignorant, unscientific worldview. But the facts of the matter are far from what you have been told. When thoroughly examined and diligently researched with an open mind, any skeptical, critical thinker will find it is actually the spinning space ball Earth presented by government space agencies and taught in schools that is truly ridiculous and unscientific. Proof number one, common sense. It cannot be overstated or overemphasized. The most important thing to realize and the most obvious way to know we are not spinning on a ball is our own common sense and lived experience. We have always and will always experience ourselves as living right side up on a non-rotating level Earth with the sun, moon, and stars revolving over and around us. This is common sense and what everyone in the world personally experiences every day of their lives. We are taught to believe otherwise, however, many things completely contrary to our own common sense and experience from a very early age. We are told that we live on a sphere where people on the other side live with their feet above their heads, where rain falls upwards, trees grow upside down, and the sky is lower than the ground. Truly, the idea that people are standing Ships are sailing, and planes are flying upside down on certain parts of the Earth, while others are tilted at 90 degrees and all other impossible angles, is an utter absurdity and an insult to common sense. In fact, common sense is the first casualty of globe belief. Proof number two, water. The natural physics of water is that once contained and undisturbed, the surface will always remain horizontal. This fundamental physical property of water is why it has been used as a leveling tool by builders and engineers for millennia. Whether in a pond, lake, or ocean, the surface of the water at rest always remains level and doesn't have the ability to hold and display convexity or any shape whatsoever upon its surface. This fundamental fact of reality is easily demonstrable and empirically verifiable, but completely at odds with what we are told about the globe. For Earth to be globular, and over 70% covered in water, the oceans must somehow be curving around and sticking to all sides of a rapidly spinning ball suspended in a vacuum. It is simply impossible to make water behave this way, as anyone can experiment for themselves. Bodies of water will not stick to the underside of a ball and cannot display or hold convexity or any other shape upon their surface. Proof number three, fake photographs. One of the main reasons the average person believes the world is a globe is because of the globular Earth images and video footage provided by NASA and other space agencies. Hundreds of such pictures and thousands of videos featuring a globe Earth are freely available on the internet. Yet most people never critically examine them with a skeptical eye. From the earliest photographs to the latest live streams, NASA and the world's other space agencies continue to be exposed for their Hollywood-style trickery. When conscientiously compared, contrasted, and investigated for inconsistencies, it turns out every single image and video showing a globular Earth has been manipulated in some way. All globe videos, for example, are achieved using either a fisheye lens to curve the horizon or created completely through CGI technology. As for the hundreds of supposed photographs available of the globe, NASA readily admits that these are computer-generated composite images and not actual photographs. If NASA and the world's space agencies could provide real, legitimate photographs and videos of a globe, they most certainly would. So the fact that they continue producing and pumping out nothing but fisheye fakery and CGI cartoons is strong evidence that Earth is not what they claim. Proof 4. Long Distance Photography We are consistently able to observe objects at incredibly long distances, far beyond what would be possible if Earth was actually a globe of given proportions. By inputting the observer height and distance viewed into an Earth curvature calculator, it is easy to check how much a target should be obstructed on a globe Earth. In Genoa, Italy, clear days reveal the distant island of Elba, 125 miles away. If Earth were a ball, 
With a 25,000 mile circumference, Elba should be concealed behind over a mile of curvature, making it forever invisible. In recent times, people have been filming using infrared zoom cameras at high altitudes to capture lakes, mountains, and other landmarks up to an incredible thousand miles away. If Earth was really a globe, the size we are told, many of the landmarks photographed would be hidden behind upwards of 70 miles of curved Earth. Proof 5. The Horizon. The horizon is always perfectly horizontal, 360 degrees around the observer, regardless of altitude. All amateur footage captured from balloons, rockets, planes, and drones at maximum altitudes of over 20 miles, without using fisheye lenses, consistently shows a completely flat horizon that remains at eye level. Only in NASA and other space agency footage does the horizon ever curve or appear below the observer's eye level. In the heliocentric model, the horizon is claimed to be the physical curvature of their globe, and the reason boats receding from a shorebound observer disappear from view. This was originally presented as one of the alleged proofs for a globe Earth by Aristotle, and is still echoed by believers today. However, with the use of modern zoom technology, we now know that the horizon isn't a result of the physical curvature of a globe, and those boats can be zoomed back into full view. This is because the horizon is not an objective physical phenomenon at all, but rather a subjective optical phenomenon based on an individual observer's perspective. If the horizon was actually the objective physical curvature of a globe, then objects receding beyond it could not be zoomed back into view, and it would remain fixed as an observer ascended. This proves the horizon line is not some objective point of curvature on a convex Earth, but rather the subjective vanishing line of perspective from a given observer's point of view. Suffice to say, these five points are just scratching the surface, and there are many, many more proofs available, both in William Carpenter's book, 100 Proofs Earth is Not a Globe, and Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. To gain a deeper understanding of this crucial and heavily censored topic, Take the time to research and discern for yourself.